But first, like every state in the country, Maine has too many homeless veterans. Private groups, as well as state and federal veterans leaders, keep trying to find solutions. As we have reported before, a group of veterans in Booth Bay has found one solution. And now that group is getting help from what might be a surprising place. 207's Don Kerrigan went back to Booth Bay Vets to see for himself. It began about five years ago with a couple of veterans and an idea. Convert utility trailers into temporary shelters for homeless vets. And today, this all-volunteer effort has a half dozen guys doing the work, and they're finishing trailer number 42. That's pretty impressive. We're gaining. <laughs> We're gaining. Now gaining faster. It's almost like we've done this before. Because of a small team of women. So if you double check your measurement. I was amazed, first of all, that it could happen because it seems like with all of the homeless situation that we have, um, that there couldn't be that simple of a solution. But there is. Corinne Bailey is a vocational instructor at the Southern Maine Women's Reentry Center in Wyndham. Since February, she's been bringing residents here two days a week to help build. <laughs> Women like Rehannon Welch, she says she learned tools from her grandfather and loves this work. It means everything. I'm doing something for a good cause. I'm learning skills for when I leave, and these guys are great. They do all the jobs the veterans do, including insulating the trailers, fitting and finishing the walls and windows. Rehannon even gets called on specifically to place the Booth Bay Vets decals. She says helping homeless veterans is, well, let her describe it. The first day I came, I went back on a spiritual and emotional high. It was like a feeling of being floating on cloud nine. It was amazing. It really was, and it was better than any drug I've ever taken. For Victoria Scott, working on the vet trailers is like a mission. Scott says she had been studying ways to help the homeless problem when she saw a notice about this. Come build tiny house trailers with veterans in Booth Bay, and I was like, that is a sign. That is not a coincidence. I need to do that. Scott admits to being nervous at first, but says that passed quickly. Immediately felt kind of like coming home, you know, like to extended family as we got the most warm welcome. We were received with non-judgment and with optimism and a willingness to kind of figure out the process with us. Perfect, nice job. Beautiful. The Booth Bay veterans say they are thrilled with the women from Wyndham. <clears throat> it's tremendous help. Why? They're, 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 oh, they're very clever and they're hard workers and they learn quick. I can't say enough good things about them. Ed Harmon is the leader of Booth Bay Vets. One of the most uplifting things that's happened to us because when they came and they started, and they learned their relentless of working ability and learning capability is just astronomical. And all of this help is letting Booth Bay Vets build more of the temporary shelters. Corrine Bailey says doing this work is also helping the women learn skills often reserved for men. These skills in particular, construction and whatnot, um, give women the self-esteem that they need to go out and feel the, and, and know that they can do this for a living and make as much money as the men or even more. The vets, in turn, have been giving the women something else they can use. They came in here and we treat them like people and we respect them. Such a humane experience, um, it humanizes me. I feel seen. I feel valued, um, and I understand that somebody wants what I have to offer and what I have to contribute, and it, it ripples out beyond 
just our experiences here as our kind of smaller community in the garage. Everybody deserves another chance. And if you believe in people, they, they do turn around and they do go on in life. Just like this whole Booth Bay Vets project. Helping other people usually ends up helping yourself in the end. And that just might be the definition of a perfect partnership. The women aren't the only ones from the Department of Corrections helping to build those portable shelters. Several men from the Mountain View Correctional Center in Charleston have also been building the shelters at the Charleston facility. And the wooden cabinets inside the units, those are built at the state prison in Warren. Booth Bay Vets is also continuing to raise money to buy the materials for more of those units for homeless veterans.